Good evening. Welcome to Newcastle After Dark's Halloween special. I am Dr. Gonzo, and with me, I am Raul Duke, coming to you from the Fear and Loathing in Pennsylvania, and from where the Buffalo Realm bring you films that are feasts for the mind. Tonight's film is 1957's The Undead, a Roger Corman classic starring Allison Hayes and Richard Garland. You know, when you think of Halloween movies, I mean, how many you have to choose from? This movie has everything you could want in a great Halloween movie. Yes. It has witches. It has witches. It has uh, the devil. It has soul selling, uh, hypnosis, black cats, spiders, everything that you could want in a great Halloween movie. Majit. <laughs> and of course, it has the fear. The fear. Now, this is a Roger Corman film who has made some of my favorite films uh, The Man with the X ray Eyes, uh, Death Race 2000. Galaxy of Terror. Galaxy of Terror, Mask of the Red Death. Galaxy of Terror had Sid Haig. Galaxy of Terror did have Sid Haig, yes. That's part of what makes it such a great movie. Ah, uh, his movies are good. And this also has Allison Hayes, uh, who was in Attack of the 50-Foot Woman and The Crawling Hand. And she was uh, Sergeant Carter's girlfriend in Gomer Pyle. <laughs> I was right, we, we caught her uh, uh, a little bit dating Vince there. Yeah, you know, she still looked good. So sit back, turn the lights down, take the ride, indulge in a tasty beverage, and enjoy 1957's The Undead. story of my eternal work. It is a story of all ages. Those dark and forgotten, and those still to come. Behold the subtle working of my talents, and pray that I may never turn my interest upon you. <laughs> Back, eh? After seven years, you've come back. Time has little meaning in Tibet. Did my call startle you? No. I've been expecting it for seven years. All of your old students return, don't they, Professor? Even the ones you failed. Particularly the ones I failed. They always want to prove me wrong. And now you. You want to startle me and the entire world, eh? And I might do just that. With your help? When you called me, I said I would listen, not help. As for this spectacular idea of yours, it's nothing but Sunday supplement nonsense. I mean to invade the depths of the mind. That is not nonsense. Excuse me, did I say nonsense? 
I mean idiocy. Don't condemn me without a try, Professor. If I succeed, we will see history unfold itself through the eyes of the subject. And I know it can be done. I've seen it in the desert huts of the shamans of Kasach. And where will you find a subject weak and impressionable enough to arrive in the required depth of trance? Diana. What's her full name? Who knows? She calls herself Diana Love. Don't be afraid, my dear. No one's going to hurt you. I'm not afraid of you or anybody else. We'll be with you in a moment, Diana. Where did you find her? What does it matter? You took her off the street tonight? You unmitigated fool. Am I? Her type is the most easily influenced of basic character groups and almost devoid of willpower. That's why I chose one of her class. Has she agreed to this? I'm paying her well. Although I dare say she has no idea what I'm paying her for. I will not help you, Quintus. Then I'll do it alone without your help. Don't you want to protect her, Professor? From me? It'll take too long. Weeks. 48 hours. Impossible. Instead of repeated sessions, I'll keep her under the full two days. I won't even wake her up to eat. Instead, I'll direct all her needs within the trance. That could prove fatal. No. Not with you watching, Doctor. I see I have no choice in the matter. We'll be remembered for this. I hope it will not be as murderers. Say, how much longer am I going to have to stay in this crummy joint? Two days. Perhaps longer. Do you have to do all that? Take it easy, Diana. Are you subject to fainting spells? Do you have any difficulty getting up in the morning? Mm -hmm. I don't. I get up in the afternoon. But it's easy. I think you'll live. I don't think I want to be hypnotized. You're being paid $500. I think it might be better if you took off that heavy bracelet. No, thanks. I'll just keep it if you don't mind. Very well. Do you see my hand? There is no end to my hand, is there? You can always take another turn. around the knuckle, over the finger. It's like riding a tiny roller coaster, isn't it? Yes. You're riding. First slowly, then faster. Around and around. And around, silent, silent, silent. And the silence is deeper and deeper, like a well, like a deep, deep well, like falling, falling into a deep, deep sleep. We are in a dark silence, and we breathe as one. We are one. When I touch you, we will be one. When I touch you, you will sleep. A profound sleep. Barely under the surface. No telling how many fathoms deeper we'll have to sink into that murky mind of hers before she wakes into another time, another place. You are a child unborn. It is soft and warm and dark. Now you are going back. You are going back farther. 
going back, going back. It is another time. It is another time. Farther. What are you doing? She can't possibly hear you. No. I am nowhere. But I exist. You may speak. Do you hear me? Oui. What do you see? Je vois la maison de ma famille. C'est au Provence d'Aquitaine. La duchesse de Bourgogne et son entourage arriveraient. Ils arrivent pour le grand bal. Well, it's happened. You've broken into the past. Yes. Yes, I have. Now the real work will begin. What more is there to do? So you were French once. And of nobility. You see it all too dimly, don't you, Diana? Too dimly. Well, my dear, you will find that there are other times and other lives. Soon you will find one that I may visit. Nothing. You asked her nothing? Watch carefully. It started. She's going. As the witch. Do you fear me, sorceress? Why, Garbo's a gentlest jailer ever to gouge a prisoner's eye. <laughs> Keep thee from me. Threaten me not, hell hag. You have lost your powers as tomorrow you shall lose your head upon the chopping block. My head? I shall lose my head? Has your brain recoiled from it and forgotten? Ah, you shall lose it and it will roll like a melon, and you'll be clutching it to your bosom when they bury you at the crossroads, a stake through your black heart. Yes, I remember. They said I was a witch. Yes. But it's a lie, a terrible lie. I'm not a witch. You must believe me. But I believe it. Look on me. Am I not ugly? Am I not the rancid bottom of a fetid swamp? But witches love ugliness more than beauty. So love me and make thy final night a pleasure. Nay! Don't back away. What voice is that I hear? It's me, you, both of us. Uh, do not pretend. Help me. I would have thought keep still. Do just as I say. I'm inside of you. Maybe I won't be able to talk to you for long. I will listen. To whom do you speak, Demoness? Pretend to make love to him. I could not. Show me thy friend. You must. To save yourself, you must. Very well. It is a madness. No madness, dear Gobo. It's just that I have consulted with my sister spirits, and they find thee comely, as, as indeed so do I. I am right. You could embrace a swine. Use the chain. Oh. Hurry, get his keys. Yes, spirit of mine self. I can't talk anymore. I'm going deeper inside of you. I can't remember my own time. My own... My name. 
She's running. In her mind, yes. No. No, somewhere. She's running. The witch has escaped! The witch has escaped! began to sing. Isn't that a dainty dish to set before a thing? A uh, good night, sir knight. What is thy name, grape digger? I am the fool smoking, bewitched and robbed of all his senses. The witch Elaine has escaped from the Tower of Death. Have you seen her? Elaine? The damsel they say did bewitch me. Nay, nay, I've not seen her. What is in thy hurts? None but a lonely corpse I take to bury. For his own good, he'd best be dead. Open thy wagon. Oh, he's to home, but he'll not answer. Law says that all coffins must be sealed. Nail it fast before thy hearse turns another wheel. Aye, aye, I'll make a fine package. Witches must be decapitated by dawn. Helene is the third. Keep thy watch, grave digger. Mine eyes shall grow stalks. Good night, Sir Knight. Three witches have heads, but they'll sever them all. The head of Helene is the third that must fall. All the king's horses and all the king's men can't put the witches together again. to the depths of the wood. Sorrow, what brings thee? All the shy knows I seek the proof of Elaine's innocence. Would you climb the very walls of the tower? If I found no other cause, yes. Would that I had a love as great as thine. Where do you journey this night? To the cemetery. I must speak with the digger Smolkin. They convicted Elaine of bewitching him. I believe it not. Nor I. Go, seek poor Smokin, and bring the proof to free thy love. Thank you, Livia. Good night. Take care. Tis the eve of the witch's Sabbath.
compass swings to north. His whimpering Helene I put in prison for the axe to kiss. Next, we'll meet Pendragon at his tavern home. Ere this night is done, I'll have his heart, or else I'll have his soul. Keeper, I would have a room for my moldering friend. Are you the digger smoking? I have been told that I am smoking, but I am mad, so cannot be sure of anything. You are bewitched? Terribly. Well, tell me, smoking, I must know. Was it Elaine who did it to you? Elaine, who must suffer death by thy enchantment? Being enchanted, I have no way of knowing. They say the enchantment has destroyed my reason. Without reason, there is no memory. So it must follow that I do not remember who it was bewitched me. Do you jest with me, grave digger? Again, I cannot say. I am mad, so therefore cannot tell a jest from a joust. I have much to do this night. I don't think thou art as mad as all say. Stir up thy brain, Smokin. I'll be back to ask more of you. Ah, well. Back to work. Hickory dickory horse. My guest is dead, of course. The clock struck two. He's turning blue. With little or no remorse. <laughs> soft girl, soft. Thou art safe. That grisly monster closed you in this box. It was I. Help me, for God's sake, help me. Aye, that I will, though my entangled brain could bring thee more harm than help. Do I know thee? Yes, yes, I do. Thou art Helene, who cast a spell on me. Spell? Nay, not I. If you are smoking, then you know we have never met before. If I am smoking. Come out of this rot. And tell me what I may do. Oh, I beg you, hide me, please. Get me to a place that I may stay the night. At twelve, the witch's Sabbath will occur. At dawn, they will execute the three witches condemned by law. Oh, if I may but live to see the sunrise, I shall have a whole year to prove my innocence. Aye, aye, the witch's Sabbath. It will be held this very night here in mine own cherished cemetery. Go into the mutton cart. I'll take thee to a place where none save Satan himself might find thee. Lie still, old man. I'll make thy bed when I return. Burden. Mm, I see thou art prepared. Cornflowers, wolf bane, chicken bones. Snakes, frogs, and amulets. <laughs> no witch will pass my door this night. Here's garlic. Best protection of all. If there's one who can handle witches and the imps that serve them, it's proof of the Gabriel's horn. We can't all be clever. Scroop, bring some ale. Rest thy corpulence. I'll take the ale.
Thank you, Scroop. You can leave the ale on the table. Has Adam come with a charge to the prison quarters? No, I am not she. Forgive the look in my face, Lydia. For a moment, I... Be not ashamed of love. My thanks for bringing the ale. The drink could bring but only half the forgetfulness you seek. And what are the other half? Look to me for it. I can only presume that you have by that release some violence that has inflamed thee. For years. I would not bring the truth of it before thee now if... if thy Helene were not as good as dead. As good as dead is not dead, Livia. With the first light of morning, she will be lost to you. Our spirits may despair, Pendragon, but dare those spirits tie the hands of flesh? Do not tempt me. I do not tempt. I give. How does my garden grow with marble stones and ankle bones and relatives all in a row? Where have you brought me? To the deepest part of the forest. Go you through the brambles till you see a light. There you will find a house and hearth. A house? Will I be safe there? A madman can't be sure of that. No more than whether you bewitched me or did not. Hey, diddle, diddle, the rat and the fiddle, the corpse jumped over his tomb. The murderer laughed to see such a sight as he strangled a girl in the gloom, 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 gloom. Strangled a girl in the I demand you bring her out of it now. No, Professor. I don't know what's being done to her right now, but the shock of returning might kill her. We may already have done that. Come inside, my dear. These are the designs of the prison towers and passageways. There's still some contact. Her lips are moving. But there's no speech. She may be this way until the end of her life. Which one? <laughs> Tis a fine brew, near finished. What will you do with me? Who knows, my child? Perhaps I'll turn thee into an owl to catch mice for my cauldron. And thou art a witch. Find one who'll say Meg Maud is not a witch. And I'll churn butter out of blood. I know thee, Helene. Smogin is my friend. How did thou escape? A voice that was mine self in ages yet to come. It did show me the way to loose my bonds. Ah! <laughs> Thy voice. In ages yet to come. This is not the sort of magic that Satan has given to me. And thou art a witch. I was at thy trial. I heard the witness Livia swear that she did see thee cast the spell on Smolkin. One last ingredient for my brew. One raven strand of maiden virtue. Thou dost not mean to kill me? They have named thee witch. If I am a witch, the same as thee, you should not sister help sister. Aye, aye, that is true. We witches must stand together. <laughs> Good, well said, Helene. Perhaps I'll give thee thy hit. Stay here, little witch, and bar the door to all but me. <laughs> I have some conjuring to 
Do. There's a fine face to see on such a fine night. Let me in, Scroop. The soldier's been here. Helene has escaped. Escaped? No, there have been no soldiers. Pendragon is upstairs with the maiden, Livia. Livia? Call him down. Help! Pendragon! A guest! Say nothing to Livia. She must not learn of this. Uh, this is Meg Maud. She has news of great import for thee. Ask nothing. Get thee with all haste to my cottage in the marsh. It is just beyond the hillock where they hang the highwaymen. What say thee? Ask nothing. Ride as though thy horse had wings. Welcome back. So tell me, where's the fairness in life? You have Diana Love, who's a lady of the streets. And in a past life, she's accused of being a witch. Where's the fairness? Well, it doesn't seem like she's done very well in either one. Unlucky. Well, unfortunately. Hmm. You know, I love how the devil introduces the, the scene to the movie. He kind of sets the mood for, yeah, what, we're, he sets the scene. for what we're going to see. Yeah. You know, have you ever been hypnotized? Not intentional. Not in the... Classic fashion, anyways. Not in the traditional sense. <laughs> so we have Livia, is the bad witch. Mm. She's bad. She's bad. Billy Barty. Uh, the, uh, Her imp? Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. Know him from a lot of uh, children's shows. Sid and Marty Crofts. Sigmund and the Sea Monster. Wasn't he a uh, legend or... I think he was. Famous Majid. Famous Majid. Very, very <laughs> famous. You know, I love how the gravedigger is smoking. He's always uh, singing, a, singing a lively tune of you what's know, going on. It, he's the reason she's in, in being accused of being a witch. But uh, he's, he's bewitched. I hit him with a shovel. <laughs> you know, a couple points of interest here. Um, the tavern they go into is the, uh, is the Gabriel's Horn. Yeah, yeah. Which is the uh, uh, the Archangel Gabriel would be the horn he would sound to announce Judgment Day. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And uh, you have uh, the interesting twist of Meg Maud. Meg Maud, yeah. Being the good witch, mm -hmm. very ugly. Very ugly. And you have the bad witch, Livia, mm. who is voluptuous. Absolutely. You know, what a nice little twist from. You were watching The Wizard of Oz. Yes. Right? Yes. Now, what does that name mean, Meg Maud? Meg Maud. Meg Maud in, uh, in French means powerful battler. Mm, makes sense. Yeah, it does make sense. Makes sense. I guess we'll find out. Yes. So let's get back to the undead. The door is unlatched. Pray enter. What be thy business with Pendragon, witch? I think that I shall marry him. <laughs> he would not have thee with thy gullet stuffed with gold. You called me witch. No woman, man, or, or creature like yourself has dared to call me that and... Live to see another, witch. We know one the other well. One day thy mother did bear a female child. And on another day, she did sell her soul to Satan and become his bird of prey. One day, my mother bore a female child, and she did grow aged and deformed. And on another day, she cheated Satan, learned his tricks, and yet retained her soul. I am thy match, witch, but I am not thy kind. I know it well. You will make me a fine opponent. Take care, stab it! 
I know thy magic better than thyself. are here. Why? To warn him of an evil thing named Livia. Come to rip his breast and eat his heart. I'll invite thee to the feast. I know thee. For an imp. No longer am I afraid. It is still night, Elaine. The one deadly night. Where's Meg? The witch? Oh, she thinks I am the same as she. I fooled her. <laughs> You couldn't fool a child in his cradle. She is the one sent me here to find you. I'm glad of that. And yet, Pendragon, this place, tis unhealthy. Well, come then. I'll take you to the tavern. Scroop is a good friend. He'll help watch over you. Come on. So you would enchant Pendragon as you did poor Smolkin. We shall see, my dear. So we shall. Elaine lives but a few more hours. Then Pendragon is mine. I'll take that challenge. Mark you this. Pendragon shall be free of thee forever. And what's more, the maid condemned shall live beyond this night and live to see thee to thy death. Tis a wager then, my twisted copy of a wizardess. Try every trick you know. I'll vanquish thee. Now I'll do it in my sleep. Sleep not while I'm awake. Thy sleep is coming in the sulfurous pit. Let us now fly to Smokin's churchyard, and there prepare the tables of earth for the banquet of the Sabbath. Old Mother Basket opened a casket to fetch her poor dog a bone to take what she tried, but the corpse sadly cried, Be off, ghoul, and leave me alone. Good evening, Smokin. Ah, tis Livia the witch. Welcome to my flesh farm. Disturb me not, Lummox. I must hasten to sweep these wandering ghosts back to their earthen homes before the witch's Sabbath begins. Oh, and are you to be the queen of sorcery at the revelry tonight, Livia? Nay, and stand at Lucifer's right hand. Tis said the queen must bring to Satan's hand one freshly severed head as proof that she is true to his black trust. My head? I'd never forgot. But say I cut yours off. The head of a madman isn't much of a head at all. The devil might feel slighted if you brought him less than the best. A pity. Thou must seek elsewhere. I must hurry home to see how fair my charge is. You should not have brought her here. The night is filled with soldiers. We saw them. It is safer here. What if they search my place? Hide in my room, Elaine, and try to rest. I must find smoke. If I'm not back within the hour, get thee to Meg Moss and wake me there. your time? It is the night of the witch's Sabbath, in the second year of the reign of King Mark. 
What is it that you fear? I fear death. Death by what means and why? Death by the headsman's axe. At dawn I shall be executed wrongly as a witch. They find me here at the tavern or at Meg Maud's. You're not imprisoned? I was imprisoned in the Tower of Death until the voice of Diana Love freed me. Oh, what is it? Her past, we've altered it. The implications Pendragon. are... Pendragon. 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 She's away from us again. Quintus. What? There's a bruise on her forearm. It wasn't there before. Then the regression is physical as well as mental. If I could... No. No, not for years. What are you talking about? According to certain priests in Nepal, I could follow her. Follow her? Never mind. Check her over. I meet the everywhere. I thought you would be tearing down the tower wall. No need. Elaine is free. Smoking. Saddle a horse. Pentagon, wait! What is it, Lydia? It is sad that I must be the one to bear such dark news, but... I have lately learned Helene escaped, but to be taken again. Taken? Nay, it cannot be. I've but left her in my room. It is true. Look in the glass. She is at Scroop's Tavern. Take wings. Hold fast to her head, old warty Meg. Smoking is coming. is done. Come, we must return to my cottage. Nay, he will be here soon, I know it. He knows the sand has run its course and will go to my place instead of this. Come! Downstairs. Scroop, where is she? Meg Maud? She's gone some time. Not the hag, I speak of Helene. Helene, the witch? <laughs> Should never get by the charms upon my door. I thought she was at the tower. She has escaped and roams the countryside. Take care, Scroop, take care. She's mad and crafty. I shall take care indeed. No one can say that Scroop is one to lose his head. Scroop is a liar. And a head is needed for the Sabbath. goblet for my pearl. Try to preserve her life and you would frighten her out of it. Why are you here smoking? Oh, the land is busy tonight and I am busy too. I've come to tell you of those who travel in the night. Speak with sanity, fool. Livia and her imp are flying up and down the night intent on murdering this elfin sprite of thine. Into the house. Who else is traveling tonight? No one else except Pendragon, who I think has gone to lay a siege upon the Tower of Death. <gasps>
It can't be done, Quintus. Never. Seen it in Nepal. Oh, the work of charlatans. The rational mind can accept just so much. I'm going to do it, Professor. Even if you could do it, you can't leave her now. If you don't awaken her before dawn, she'll die in the past. No, she's escaped in the past. If she does not die where and when she really did in the unchanged past, she'll die now. She'll live none of her future lives. How do you know when she died? We sent Diana. Diana freed Helene, who was to have died at dawn. Her entire destiny has been thrown out of balance. I you must learn everything. You can't do it, Quintus. I'm going to do it. I need a cardiograph. Now, look, I won't I'll tolerate... i myself. Visit Megmont. I could not free Helene from the tower. Now all is lost, Livia. Then I must help thee save her. Help me? How? You could not split the tower stones. Perhaps I could. I could not tell you before, but now because I love thee, because I must help thee, I am a witch. A witch? Oh, I knew you must loathe me for it. So I held my tongue until the day I could hold thy heart. Now I know you have loved Helene too much to think of me or any other in the land. Which? Oh, I would not hurt thee for the very throne of Hades. I will use my powers to release Helene. How would you free her? By witchcraft and black magic. Tis the only way. If witchcraft be the only out, I'll take it. Whatever the cost. And thou must sell thy soul. What? There is but one anywhere who can help you now. That is the devil, and he claims a price. For thy soul, he'll free Helene. I'll do it. We'll join the Sabbath soon. First, Pentagon. Give to me thy gift of one embrace, no more, to warm the chill upon this witch's heart. Oh, forgive me if this chill brings out the wildness of my blood. It will be necessary for you to put me through four rapid stages of hypnosis. Auto-suggestion on my part will help speed the process. I don't approve of this, Quintus, acting as your accomplice. Watch the dials on the machine, Professor. When Diana's brain waves blend with mine and become one, stop. You will know it is in effect. No two brains can merge totally and move freely on the same wavelength. It's impossible. Please, Professor, we must hurry. The time here probably matches the time then, which means we are close to midnight, the time of all the witches' Sabbaths. All right. Now relax, Quintus. Look into my eyes. We're both after the same thing. Sleep. Your sleep. Total, complete sleep. A profound sleep. Oh. The hour of twelve descends. Take you each a separate road. If the witch you see, kill her. But tarry not. Why must you venture to that unholy rite? If I am to know what tricks are in store for thee, I must go to Smalkin's Field and view the games. I'll be discreet and keep myself well hid. This lout here will guard you, I, Smalkin. Pray guard thy soul, Meg Maud. When first we met this night, I thought thee a witch. But now I love thee as an angel. Stay by my heart and listen not to voices in the night. Take care.
How soon will, will Satan come? He's already here, some wisp of slinking fog. I'll show his form when all the beggars have arrived. Sir Knight, I beg thy protection. I cannot protect you. I've got troubles of my own. Wait! Do you know the way to a place called Meg Maud's? Nay, I seek but one place, home. We're too near to the Sabbath ground. The witch's Sabbath? Where is it? Only a madman went to such a place. My lance would bend. Where? Left to where the path forks, under the ruined churchyard. The time has come. Stay. I must call him there, the altar of the profane. Wait, the emperor of hell. enemy of heaven. Satan, I bid thee welcome to the witch's Sabbath. Welcome, folk of judgment. You have come to pledge your service to thy righteous Lord. And for thy names upon my book, you shall have wealth and food and safety all thy lives from ill or want. Such is my boon. Prove this be not evil, dark, or sad affair. Pray give my people song and dance and gaiety. Bid the dancers appear. Let the sellers come and speak. They call me leper and unclean and banish me to forest and swamp. Sign leper and be clean. I looked upon so depraved an act. We shall go to him now and soon complete the business. I doubt I can do it. Would you save Helene? Satan, my, my life's been full of slavery and toil. Would I could have had the better things in life? Sign. Hail, divinity. I would speak with thee. I will hear thee, Livia. Here is Pendragon, long beloved of Helene, who waits in the Tower of Death and must lose her head at dawn. <laughs> and this man would have her free. Aye, even at the cost of my soul. Sign, and she is thine forevermore. Pendragon, wait. Would you sign without a triad bargaining? 
I know you. You do, devil? Satan? I hardly think so. So, Quintus, you have slipped at last the bonds of time. I knew you dabbled in my art one day. Your interest flatters me, sir. Don't sell Pendragon, rent him your soul. Say for a month, if he will let her off. Let's say it a month. Nay, he's a fool and madman. Do not listen to him, sign the book. I'll hear him, and his sanity. What say thee to a month? Thy say be off. What is a month? When I can have thy life and all beyond. Sign, and for all eternity. Else the woman remains encaged. What's the use of this talk? I'll sign. Don't do it, Pendragon. If I promise you that she will go free, will you come with me now and forget the book? Yes, I'll come. But if your words are false, I must return and sign. Agreed. Well, here we are at the Witch's Sabbath. Could it be any more perfect? What have we got ourselves into? Oh, it's, a, it's a perfect setting. Hmm. Yes, it is. We come to the Innkeeper's Tavern. Yes. Scroop. Scroop. <laughs> and uh, Livia takes his head as a, as a gift for the devil. I would have gladly given mine. I think I'd be the headless horseman around there. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, yes. Yes. You know, I love the, the eve of the Witch's Sabbath. When you have the, the dead dancing. And uh, townspeople are coming to sell their soul for fame and wealth, just like in Mr. Frost. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And we have a small cameo by Dick Miller as yes. the leper. Yes, and he's been in tons of films. He's been in The, uh, the Howling. Creep Show. Creep Show, yeah. Even Quintus. Yes. Makes the journey back. To the past. To Helene's past. I'd have had to ditch that helmet. <laughs> You wouldn't have been walking around with that knight's outfit on? No. No. A bucket. I don't think your hair would fit in that. My hair wouldn't fit inside <laughs> that thing. Well, he's there to try to make sure he doesn't uh, alter any of the past, so he says. Well, we need to alter the future and uh, remedy these drinks. Certainly need an alter on that. Yes. So let's get back to the conclusion of The Undead. You know of some place called Make Mort's? Aye, just but a short way. Leave me there. Come. <laughs> to have thee back. I came directly through the marsh so that none might see and precede me. What fun was had at the witch's sabbath tonight? Pendragon fights to free thee from the tower. He nearly sold his soul, but was prevented by a knight. Now you are safe, Elaine, and may sleep till morning lifts the blanket of fear. No axe shall touch thee now. This is Meg Mott's. Go in. She's waiting. Does that creature belong to you? He is my imp. We witches each have one, you know. Young fools. The heat of their lips burns the caution from their hearts. Well, mate, tis a cold night. Aye, the rascals are young. Look to the doors and windows. 
So you have again escaped. Nay, I've been here all the time. But Livia said... Yes, Livia. The night brought me here this time. Oddly he spoke. Oddly he looked on me. Piercingly deep as though his eyes were knives. Tell me, what did he look like? Dark, with rumpled hair, a scar on his cheek. Tall, with the aspect of master written upon his brow. Where is he now? If he is not gone ten cubits from this door, do you know this man? It is he. What has he done to thee? I know not. Some torture that my brain doth conceal from me. Nor may I speak his name. But this much I do know. Be he man or monster, demon or saint, his heart doth hunger for the death of me. She is beset. Nay, nay, tis more. This is a well too deep for any hair to plumb. She has forgotten some foul sorcery this man has wrought. Now you must flee. I'll take her to the tavern. The ends are roost for bats. The head that burned tonight was scroops. Smog in here will hide thee in the woods swift now and warm her till the dawn. Yeah. What is this? This talisman contains the hour. Keeps it prisoner. Look. Stretch the very night. Turn backward time with thine own hand. Thou art master of it. <laughs> Let's go inside. A bit of holy water helps to chop unholy skulls. <laughs> Come from present time, from past, or epics yet to come? From the future. You keep poor company. <laughs> She's a cat, and to think I'd never believed in witches. Nor I and men who stroll about the rooms of time. Well said, Mother. Are Diana Helene and her friend in the back? They've gone. I've sent them far to hide. To keep that child from those eager eyes of thine. Here, drink. The night is lost. What is the color of the heart that can at will send back an innocent girl from future life to die a grisly death for the second time? <sighs> Be calm, old woman. At dawn, she will live and die, no matter what we may do. I do not like riddles. Tell what you mean and speak clearly. The mouse, is she? <laughs> you have caught her. Raise the cup and I'll make mashed wermouse for my brew. Hold on. You can't use that big hatchet on something so puny. She can't get out. Mm, perhaps she can't. <laughs> Tis good spot to have her caged. Welcome, Livia. I see you are in thy cups. <laughs> Jack Spratt could eat no fat, his wife could eat no lean, and so betwixt the two of them, they licked the coffin clean. I must know of your part in her death. I transported the mental being of a girl from the 20th century back, through her memory, to the physical being that she was at this time. She was condemned. But her mind of the future gave her a way to escape. This means that Diana, from my time, changed something that had happened centuries before she was born. All that happens in the past affects all that happens in the future. It is madness. Speak on. Looking back from my time, Helene is already dead by that axe. But now she is free, unnaturally. 
If she dies at dawn, her stream flows on, and she will live all her future lives. But if she escapes, she will live a full lifetime now, and then die forever. Diana Love and all the lives Helene would have lived will end. That is, they will never be born at all. So you are right. Life is her death, and death is her life. Horrible, horrible choice. It's a choice only she can make. She is too young and innocent to make so cruel a decision. You are the beast who has caused it all. You must make the choice. I can do nothing now. You want me to end the trance. That would save Elaine, true. But at dawn, Diana would die and disappear completely from the earth. I am not a cruel man, but I can't help being fascinated. Whichever way it goes, I'll have known the most intriguing drama of my life. And frankly, I don't much care which course you take. Smoke and hide, and offer her ladies thy greasy choice. Smell eight quarts of human blood that will soon enrich the grasses here. <laughs> ah, we have exalted company. Quintus, come sit by me and view the mask from a higher place. Thou art the author of the piece, and Satan is the critic. Come, lest the players shape into star. Go, coward, leave the play to us. These mysteries twirl about my head, but tell me nothing. And yet I feel I'm the cause of it all. Nay, not the cause, Elaine. The victim. If there be someone here with vital speech to tell, let them give tongue or scurry to his cave. I shall give tongue, Pendragon. Hear me out. And check the fury that must rise in thee till I have finished. Diabolism has its stamp upon thy heart and soul, Helene, And you are doomed to feel its tearing fangs. You were entranced. This is your choice. Death now, life after. Life now, death ever after. Nay, nay, it cannot be. Why must I die? I'll not, I say I'll not. Heed not. We'll find a finer life. Go. Meet the axe. You'll have a hundred lives to live. Quintus and I do bid thee stay. We will observe the future bend then split then change with gay confusion. Would it were I, this dismal time brings only weal and woe to Smokin' and his poor enchanted ilk. Who is Diana? What form of woman is she? Base and devoid of virtue, a wanton woman of the streets. Pray die, Helene. Wake and be a wretched trollop. Methinks it would be better to escape this age of misery. Helene, stay with me. Take the axe. Let the dawn slip by. Live. Go, the time runs out. Stay, Helene. Go, stay. Tell me no more. 
my brain has not the strength to weigh so many wills. From this madness, I've come to understand one thing. If I die at my appointed time this dawn, then I shall live again and again throughout uncounted ages. But if I live this lifetime now, those future lives can never be. And here, here I have my beloved Pendragon, whom I love with all my being. I must have help, but it can come from none of thee. I find that I am one, and yet dozens more beyond that veil of death. These shall be the judges of my destiny. Bring them to me. She knows her way. Oh, I'll give thee all the love thy heart can stand. Love. Thy putrid love is what murdered her. Die, witch! Uh -huh. I was on time, wasn't I? Can you ever forgive us? Forgive you? Of course I can, both of you. Living as Helene was a nightmare, and 
Yet somehow through the horror of it all, I, I felt warm and human. She gave up so much for me. It's as though she left me a whole new life, fresh and clean. That's why I can forgive you. And why I can't hate Quintus. I can't hate him either. I'm too filled with horror. All I have left is pity. Tis finished, eh, magician? All but my journey home. Oh. Did you mean to travel back? Alas, thy burial tidings. Thy voyage to this age was down a long, long road that tied Diana to Helene. It was a road from living mind to living mind. One person. But now Helene is dead. Her mind shut off and quit. <laughs> no longer is there any road for thee to take. <laughs> I fear the joke's on thee, my brilliant friend. Here you are fixed. So make of local life what comfort, sport, and joy thou may. And when thy present years are done, I'll come a-calling on thee. Fare thee well. <laughs> at the end and what a choice what a choice good god man that's a heavy choice what would you do well you can as she's faced with living one full life now or facing the axe and living on her future lives I would face the axe well you know the head doesn't come off with just one swift blow what are you saying well, I'm saying that it would take uh, a couple mighty blows to take that thick neck of yours off. <laughs> you know, it wouldn't have been so bad to stay in the past had uh, Livia survived. Mmm, Livia. But uh, I think in lieu of her absence there, um, I'd have to opt for the axe myself. I agree. Yes. I agree. And you know, everybody has so many opinions to give her as why she should stay or... Here you go. But not one of them is facing the axe. Well, much easier, yes. isn't it? Yes. You know, um, the devil simply loves chaos. Loves it. As well he should. And Quintus. Quintus? Quintus is, uh, Quintus is left behind, isn't he? Oh, never to know his real future. No, no. Never to move beyond that past. The past. And only the devil to pay. Oh, and the devil knows. Knows. Well, no sympathy for the devil, man. No. No. No, man. But I have to tell you, the sweet, sweet Mary tonight. The Bloody Marys were, mm. were well-fitting. Awesome. Uh, to the mood, and to the scene here. It was enjoyable. I love the celery. Well, you know, some people enjoy the Spanish olives. Ah, I like Spanish some olives. Some people enjoy a dill pickle. Dill pickle. Dill pickle. Yeah. Mm. I myself am a celery man. Ah, uh, yes. Yes. Uh, yes. Yes. So it was a, it was a wonderful beverage for a wonderful movie. Yes. Yes. Yes, it was. Very fitting. Well, we thank you for being here with us at Newcastle After Dark's Halloween special. We hope that you join us again for the lost treasure in cinema. And until next time. Good, good night. night.